Hi everybody, today we're in the ghost town of Chloride, Arizona. Let's go check it out. Chloride was founded in 1862. This is a little replica town. It's pretty cute. Cyanide Springs, I think is what they call it. In the early 1860s, miners stumbled upon several rich silver veins on a site called Silver Hill. Chloride's peak years were between 1800 and 1920, when there were about 75 mines in operation here. At that time, there were about 5,000 people living in Chloride. It really surprises me because this is a small town. They had a stage stop, which was served by the Butterfield Stage Line. It ran from 1868 to 1919. Chloride also had a train depot. The Arizona and Utah Railway from Kingman to Chloride was inaugurated August 16, 1899. Santa Fe Railway also provided passenger and cargo service from 1898 until it closed its station in 1935. That was almost the end of chloride. We've been searching, <laughs> we've been searching around for a while looking for the depot. So I asked one of the locals for directions and it looks like we finally found it. This is the old train depot here in chloride. We're gonna go check it out. I know you're a happy camper now. <laughs> This is some of the old rail, it looks like. A little bit of a foundation there. There's spikes still down here from uh, the tie plates. Well, let's take a look at that. Oh. What would that door be? The square door up here. Uh, loading, loading okay. area. Oh. And back up the car up here and then load it. Okay. There's a rock in front of it. You think that it's okay for us to go in here? Yeah. I wonder how busy they were. I can just, I can just imagine with 5,000 residents. I'll bet it got pretty busy. It looks like the jail has two holding cells. It's pretty small. It looks like they held probably two prisoners to a cell. I don't think I'd like this mattress very much. Oh, I see why. <laughs> you see why they have that cable running in here now? <laughs> running through the building? Uh huh. Look at that. The building's coming apart. Holy cow. 
Sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy, but look at this cable holding up the old jail. That's just crazy. Wow. Their post office is the oldest continuously operating post office in Arizona. We're on our way to see the murals and you can see the dirt road is pretty smooth and graded so not too bad until I guess we get to the very end here and it's a little bit rough. During the 1960s, a band of hippies, including a man named Roy Purcell, came to Chloride. Purcell made these hills above Chloride his artist palette and painted 2,000 square foot of murals on the rocks up here. These murals later became known as the Chloride murals. I had also read that Purcell ended up here because he was an artist who took a break from pursuing a degree at Utah State University. And during this time in chloride, he worked as a miner. Whatever the story might be, this is still very cool. One of the locals that just stopped by, he said originally these murals were made of glass. This is titled, The Journey, Images from an Inward Search for Self. From what I read, he painted all these different panels with different tribes in mind. So, very interesting. This is right across from the murals. Bob's up here taking pictures of the petroglyphs that are here. I'm going to swing around and show you the murals and then back over to Bob. So, slowly. Here's the murals. And then he just walked across the road. Right up there. We're headed back down now. You can see the town in the distance. It's a pretty nice little view. What in the world? This cow is just walking around loose on the street. That's something you don't see every day. In the 1920s, chloride was almost entirely burnt to the ground. Speaking of fire, I had heard that the fire department has an operational 1939 fire engine that was built for the town by the Ford Motor Company. We were driving around here and I was able to catch a glimpse of it, so that was pretty neat. We're on our way out of town now and we saw this and we just had to stop and take a look. This old gas station is listed on Google as a historical landmark. Gotta love the old railroad track, very cool. We just left the town of Chloride. And that was a great stop. We had a lot of fun. We were only going to stop there for a little bit on our way back home. And we ended up spending probably two hours yeah, there. Yeah, two hours there. Yeah, so we're back on the road and we'll catch up with you later. Bye.